felt that again then. Can I have somebody else walking up the stairs with us? Listen. And I had an intense feeling like I shouldn't be here. Somebody's hanging around. Oh. Ducky, I've got pains in my stomach. I don't like it down there. What do you think? Mm. It's a suicide connected to him. Somebody just went, whoa. We've definitely got somebody with us, Alison. There's always an old man standing at the top of the stairs. It's a lady right. with a baby. OK, stay here, Alison, stay here. This week, the rescue mediums visit the bustling metropolis of Hamilton, where a nightclub has some otherworldly customers. I had this fellow come in the back door. The bar was closed, and he was looking to buy a beer, and I told him that we weren't open. He argued with me for a little while. He turned around and left. I got up and went to see where he had gone, but the fellow had vanished. I felt like I wasn't alone, and I had an intense feeling like I shouldn't be here ritualistic, satanistic things. They apparently were supposed to have happened on the third floor. You can feel a strong presence of a number of people. The rescue mediums are on their way to help. Is it that way? But they seem to be needing a little help of their own. I think we should go that way. Not that way. That way? I don't know. Just, okay. Well, we've got to trust him. We've all felt some people brush up against us, actually push us. Always an old man standing at the top of the stairs. I'll stop, turn around and look, and he's gone. And that was such a strong, intense feeling that I really wondered about taking this job. <laughs> Jackie and Allison are renowned psychic mediums who spend their days and nights showing wayward spirits into the light. Oh, my God, what is that? Work which for them is never a drag. <laughs> I'm so glad we found you. We've been looking for you everywhere. <laughs> the rescue mediums have been given no prior knowledge of their destination. Even the name of the city has been kept secret until now. Although days earlier, they had some uncanny premonitions. A man in a tall hat, black coat, possibly 1800s era. I see an old man with Victorian-style clothing on. Fish. And you've got Again, fish. Yeah. Now, I, I've actually put, it may be decorative. Ah, uh, yeah, because that might link into something else. Oh, OK. Later on, might do. Okay. I've got Richard, and you also have the name of Richard. Yeah, Richard or Richards. But it's male. Definitely male. You can just feel that strong presence. Someone in a turmoil. Ooh. Lots of confusion, turmoil. Yeah. To me, he feels like he's stuck. That's the feeling I get from him. He's afraid to cross over. And there's a certain area that people don't like. It's, it's got a really different feel to the rest of the place. OK. Whenever we're in this area, we always feel there's a powerful presence here. The people that were here before, they called it a portal. Um, a healer. I think somebody is a healer. Oh, right. Oh, because yes. my hands started to get very hot all of a sudden, and that oh. usually, to me, indicates that I'm in the presence of somebody who is a healer. Yeah. In addition to their premonitions, the rescue mediums have created these psychic drawings of what they expect to find during their investigation. Asian sort of uh, origin. Yeah. She's really uh, cute. <laughs> yeah, it's terrible though. It's really, it's really bad drawing, but th this is what I'm getting at. Escorted by some of the bar's more divine clientele, the rescue mediums arrive. <laughs> Barely managing. In you go, ladies. Have a great time. Thank you. you. Bye. 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 Can Jackie and Alison calm the troubled spirits of this watering hole? Well, with the rescue mediums coming here, what I hope happens is that whoever is here finds peace, because I don't feel that they are at peace. So maybe they can be sent on to where they need to be, because they're stuck. I hope when the rescue mediums get here, they could give us some answers as to what's going on. 
who's here, what's here. Not necessarily chase them away, but answer all these questions that so many people that are involved in the bar have. Jackie and Allison are the rescue mediums. Psychics who make house calls. Hi. Hello. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Nice to meet you as well. Works. Come on in. Thank you. In the bar's cavernous serving room, the rescue mediums sit down with the owner to present their premonitions. <laughs> Thanks for inviting us in, Thank Mike. You for what we'd like to do first is to just ask you how long you've been here. I've been here five years now. Five years. And have you ever experienced anything like this before? No. OK. OK, thank you for yeah. that. We're going to go through some of the premonitions and things that we've, we've got before we came here. I got doors that open on their own. Do you have problems with doors that open on their own? All the time. And hearing footsteps and you look round, there's nobody there? All the time. Do you ever feel that you're being watched? Yes. Well, this is going to be interesting, yes, isn't it? Yes, it is. Isn't it? it is. Um, motorbike accident. Um, and I'm not sure whether the motorbike accident connects with somebody here now or somebody who's in spirit. At this point, I'm not quite sure. Now, this is the Asian lady that I saw. And I've drawn an Asian person. Yeah. Very, very happy feel to that person. Yeah. So we felt we've got an yeah. Asian theme going on. Yeah, there with we that. definitely do. Going, mm. <laughs> That's a knowing smile. Is that significant? <laughs> it yeah. is. Yeah. I'm oh. intrigued, aren't you, Jackie? I am, I am so looking forward to this. I Can am. we have a look round now, please? Absolutely. Let's <laughs> go. Thank you. Yay. <laughs> Coming up. Oh, felt that again then. Premonitions become dramatically true. I'm very much aware that we're here. But is her intention to help <gasps> or to harm? It's a lady All right. with a baby. Okay. In this alternative nightclub in the city of Hamilton, some of the clientele seemed to remain long after last call. I felt like I wasn't alone, and I felt like I shouldn't be here. The rescue mediums begin their investigation of this multi-level establishment, and it doesn't take them long to discover the bar's more sinister energies. It's cold. cold. I'm yeah, feeling cold. I am, really. Feeling, you're feeling something. I've got that cold right behind me back again. Okay, we've got company there. I think so. But the rescue mediums feel that some of the strongest vibrations are coming from the club's upper levels. They ascend to investigate. Jackie and Alison are drawn towards vibrations of warmth and calm. Fish. Uh, yes. It's definitely fish. Lily pads. Yeah. Two of Jackie's premonitions come true as the rescue mediums encounter both decorative fish and images of lily pads. You do, do you know, when you walk in, it's a lovely feeling of peace and tranquility in this room, it don't is. you think? Yeah. Oh, I felt that again then. Did you? You know that cold? Yeah. There's definitely somebody here with us. Now I've got the warm. I'm very much aware that we're here. Suddenly, the rescue mediums are drawn to this portrait. The Zen Lounge. Dedicated to the loving memory of Alex Chung, also affectionately known as Alexia Zen, forever in our hearts, our thoughts and prayers. Ah, right. But, you know, this, this person, the personality, very strong personality. I think she jumps out of the picture, Michelle. Do you know what? I You're think absolutely... she's here. She's here to help. Oh, yeah. They quickly realise that the spirit of Alexia is with them in the room. I've just had a thought. What if we ask Alexia to walk around with us and, and help with the rescue? I think you'll find that she's sort of been trying well, to give us clues all along. Her. Yeah, I think so. The spirit of Alexia Zen will act as the rescue medium's guide. But a darker presence waits. Jackie, can you hear somebody else walking up the stairs with us? Listen. 
Oh, so I can't. Walking up the stairs with us. And it was quite quick. Yeah. Following the darker presence, Jackie and Alison are led to a rarely used room. Different sort of cold, isn't it? It's like a swirling cold. Ducky, I've got pains in my stomach. What like? Like maternity pains. Oh. A female spirit in anguish makes herself known. I'm hearing moans and groans as well. The energies here, are, it's heavy. No, I heard a baby crying. Yeah, no, I heard that baby too. The female spirit exudes a dark, troubled energy. I just feel like if I need to sit down and close my eyes, and I can hear the baby crying again now. OK. What are you feeling? Oh. The spirit is in torment. Black darkness. OK. I feel they're crying out for help. Jackie and Alison are compelled to make an immediate rescue. Alison, Alison, hey, tell me what you're seeing. The spirit begins to overwhelm Alison. Do you need to get them to look towards the light? Thank you stand back. Stand back. The spirit's resistance is devastating. Right, I'm going to put a candle flame in front of your eyes. There's a lady All right, with a right. baby. OK. Stay here, Alison, stay here. Will Alison be able to overcome the dangerous hold the spirit has over her? How long can she hang on? Within this cavernous nightclub, the rescue mediums have encountered a benevolent, helpful spirit. She's here to help. Oh, yeah. And a more dark and troubled one. Just a lady All right. with a baby. OK. But their efforts to show the more anxious spirit into the light are met with resistance. Stay here, Alison, stay here. Which drains Alison's power. Get to walk into the candle flame. Now you stand back, stand back. OK. She's going. OK, good. Alison prevails. The spirit has passed. Are you all right? I'm OK. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah. OK. With little time for recovery, another spirit presents itself and leads the rescue mediums back to the first floor of the bar. I'm waiting as if I'm waiting for somebody to go whoosh. It's as if he moves very quickly, but when he wants to make his presence felt, he does. Oh, dear, I get really bad. Yeah, here. really. Oh, I do as well. Somebody's hanging around. Did you say that like that for a reason? I think I might have done. Hanging around. Throat. Could Alison's choice of words be a clue? <laughs> the spirit of Alexia Zen returns. Alison, look. Urging the rescue mediums to explore the basement of the bar. I don't like it down there. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Dark energy rushes from the basement like a psychic draft. Let's see how we feel. <laughs> this, this is, really, this really... is very creepy. Jackie and Alison discover a basement room which emits a troubled energy. Uh, oh, dear. Now, I'm feeling a bit strange here, in here. I, I've just seen something. A dark presence has felt. Somebody just went, whoa. We've definitely got somebody with us, Alison. I think so. My ears have gone funny as well now. Do you think we should sit down? Yeah, I think we should sit down. Yeah. Yes. The rescue mediums work to divine the psychic energy. Why am I getting Emmanuel? Emmanuel. Why do I keep getting Emmanuel? Well, I don't know. Ask. ask. OK, why, why ask am I getting why are you getting that? Why am I getting it? The rescue mediums ask the spirit of Alexia to explain the name Emmanuel. Oh, crikey. But communication is severed as a troubled spirit demands their attention. I've got that head thing again. OK. Come forward, come forward and let me just see you. I need to know who I'm talking to. The spirit needs help. This man has been seen like a dark, dark shape. He's really agitated, he's very angry. I can 
feel his energy and this man has got a lot of turmoil going on inside his head. There's a suicide connected to him. Do you know what? I think he committed suicide himself. This is like purgatory, this is hell, this is where hell is. The rescue begins. Maybe if we got who he loved, who's in spirit to come for. Okay, okay. Who are you missing? A deceased relative is called to calm the troubled spirit and aid in the rescue. James. The first name is James. This man's done a few nasty things in his time. But he can still go over to the light. That's what he needs to understand. Yeah. The spirit seems to feel the light. There's two people who have stepped forward and are holding their hands out to him. To him. Good. Is he gone? He's gone. Have you shut the door behind? I'm just shutting it now. Okay. Not taking any risks. <laughs> oh, do you know who's this side of the door? Oh. <laughs> Alexia. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh. Wow. We knew that she was helping us, didn't we? Absolutely. Oh, do you know that's what she's amazing. doing? Go on. Next, the rescue mediums present their findings to the bar owner and compare it to independent research. Before the rescues, I kept getting the name Emmanuel. And see what matches up. You OK, Mike? Yeah. Inside this Hamilton bar, the rescue mediums met a benevolent spirit named Alexia Zen. With Alexia's help, Jackie and Alison were able to guide two anguished spirits into the light. A woman filled with torment and a man thrashing with anger. The rescue mediums now sit down with the bar's owner to present their findings. This is the fun bit, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Where we share information with each other. Yeah. In um, the premonitions, I um, talked about a motorbike accident. A motorbike accident. Um, and I'm not sure whether the motorbike accident connects with somebody here, now, or somebody who's in spirit. Whoa. I have a friend who was killed in a motorcycle accident when we were 16 years old. A good friend of the bar's owner was killed in a motorcycle accident on a major highway just outside of Hamilton. The pain of this loss is still very much with Mike. Whoa. Just wanting to give you all of his love and to let you know that he's okay. Do you want a moment, are you okay? No, I'm okay. Okay, we know you're good, you're very good. <laughs> very good. <laughs> So going back to the first rescue, it was a lady who died in childbirth. She was a lady that overshadowed me. Jackie and Alison believe that the tormented female spirit passed in childbirth. She needed the rescue medium's help to enter the light and reunite with her child. Would it come right up into your face? Yes, she did. Almost stop you? Yeah. Dead in your track? You've experienced that, have you? I've experienced that. And it's like you're just bang, like you're walking into something. We both gave the name of Richard. I got Richard and you also have the name of Richard. Yeah, Richard or Richards. There was a gentleman that came in very, very quickly. Now, his energy was so strong, we sat opposite each other and we had to hold hands so that our energy field was connected, so we got the strength there. Richard Dwyer committed suicide. We have his death certificate, which attests to that. Richard Dwyer was a resident of Hamilton until his death at his own hand. His father was called James, the gentleman who came through the light to help Richard go through into the light was his father, James. And I'll tell you something else we've found out. In the 1960s, across the road from here, there was a funeral parlour. The people who owned that were Dwyer. Whoa. And that was Richard's surname. It's very possible that that could connect, that he is related to that family. But what of the benevolent spirit, Alexia, who aided in the rescue? I got an Asian lady, which is very specific, isn't it, yes. this building? And yes. This is the Asian lady that I saw. 
And I've drawn an Asian person. Do you know, when I drew this picture, I started to draw a lady, and then it was a man, and then it was a lady, and I couldn't understand <laughs> what it was all about. Alexia Zen was a well-known drag queen and devoted patron of this bar. What do you know about her? The stories that I've been told of, of her was she looked at this bar as being her home and she was very comfortable here. This was the one and only place, I think, in the whole world, what I've been told, mm -hmm. is that where she felt totally comfortable. Now, before the rescues, I kept getting the name Emmanuel and I just hadn't got a clue why I kept getting Emmanuel. Why am I getting Emmanuel? Well, I don't know, ask. Why am I getting it? You okay, Mike? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. She was one of the founders of Emmanuel House. Emmanuel House yes. is the AIDS hospice in Hamilton. Right. And she was very, very involved in that project and got it off the ground. It's fantastic, and I know, yeah. I now know that when we, before we did all the rescues and everything, that she was there helping us. So you've helped Richard to go over to the light, and the lovely mother and her baby, you've helped that happen. Cool. Mm -hmm. Just awesome. amazing, isn't it? It's Just, amazing. Uh... Their work complete, the ladies explore the bar's other spirit. So we've had a really, um, I think, successful rescue. There's been quite a lot. We've had, um, we've had, of course, Richard. Oh, yes, help. yeah. The lady with the baby. And look, Alexia, I mean, she's been amazing, hasn't she? Oh, she's absolutely. Helped. And I'll tell you something else. I'm really glad that this time, it's a real drag. <laughs> 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 